Life has been heavy for the past few months. Wave after wave of what's next threatens to knock us down. We struggle to find our spiritual balance. But the truth is we are standing on the rock. The truth is we are safe. The truth is we are loved and cherished, but we can't hear that truth if we are standing too close to the sea of chaos that threatens to tug us further in. Just for today, turn off the news, take a step back and breathe. Take a few deep, slow breaths. Exhale just as slowly and give thanks for each breath. Then look. Take a moment to look around your world and see the beauty. There is beauty there, you know, but only if you look for it and give thanks for that beauty. Then laugh. If you haven't had a good laugh for a few days, it might take a bit of effort to prime that laughter pump. But once laughter begins to flow, it'll heal your heart. Go watch some silly dog or cat videos. Exercise those facial muscles. Stretch your lips into a smile and give your frown muscles a break. Give thanks for laughter. Then appreciate. Reach out to someone, anyone, who has touched your life, even in a small way. Thank them and be specific in that thanks. It could be someone from your past. It could be somebody who helped the elevator door open or who baked your groceries just the way you like them baked. Look them in the eyes and say those words with intention. Let your gratitude go beyond polite courtesy and give thanks for the goodness of God shown to us through smiles and kind gestures. Then give. Give your time, your ear, and your heart to someone who needs to process through a difficult moment. Listen, then formulate your response after they speak, not while they speak. Make sure your heart is the first thing they hear in your response and give thanks for the abundance of God's grace that spills out from you to others who need it just as much as you do. Just for today, serve notice to chaos that you will not let it control you. Then step back, breathe, look, laugh, appreciate, and give just for today.